Hi everybody, welcome to Turing Group Seller VIP Series and let's talk about the appraisal. Hey everybody, welcome to Truen Group. Whatever your real estate needs are, whether you're upsizing, downsizing, you're a first time homeowner or you're an investor, maybe you're looking for that vacation property. We're here to guide you. So let's get started. So the appraisal, different than home inspection, we covered that in another video, but the appraisal is if there's financing, if the buyer's taking out a mortgage on the home, the lender is gonna require there'll be an appraisal on the home. They wanna make sure the home is worth the money they're lending. That makes sense. So what happens on an appraisal? No one comes with the appraiser. The buyers don't come, the buyer's agent aren't there. Even I suggest most of the time you're not there. Just let them come in and do their job. So the appraiser comes in and they're gonna measure the property. They're gonna confirm the number of bedrooms and baths and square footage, make sure the condition, they'll look at that, any amenities, look at the surrounding area, and they're gonna come up with a report where they take everything they know about your house now because they've measured it and been inside and run comps that we did at the beginning when we did your market analysis. Now, they have a uniform kind of system and code that kind of takes numbers in and out and comes up with those comps. And then the report is sent to the buyer. So if the appraised value comes at or above the purchase price, we're good to go. We won't even know that number because the buyer's agent will contact me and say, yeah, everything's good, no work orders, let's just move forward. That's great. But what if the appraisal comes in below the purchase price? Again, don't stress about this. We may have to renegotiate. It depends on what the contract, the original offer said. Is there an appraisal guarantee where the buyer says, well, if the appraisal comes in low, we're seeing that now because it's a seller's market and it's crazy out there. If the appraisal comes in a little low, the buyer will guarantee up to so many thousand dollars over the appraised value to make the deal go through. Um, sometimes it's all of it, sometimes it's a specific number. If that's not in the contract, we might have to negotiate. And there's three things that can happen. The appraised value comes in low and as a seller you go, we still want our purchase price. If you can't perform, then we're gonna try and sell it again to someone else. Or maybe the buyer says, I'm not coming up a dime, not even a little bit. So if you don't come down to the, <laughs> the appraised value, they're walking. We're gonna have to find another buyer. But more often than not, we find a, a way to kind of negotiate and kind of massage it and get it to where both the buyer and the seller are happy with the outcome. And that might be some kind of compromise in between. But it's all part of our job is to negotiate on your behalf. So again, don't stress about the appraisal. Um, if something comes up between the listing agent and the buyer's agent, we'll negotiate on your behalf and get everything settled and move on. So that's the appraisal.